Hello there everyone, welcome back to another video. Today guys, we are back here in the next part of the how to make a razor flopper type game over here guys. In today's video, I'm going to be creating a system which you can use to buy upgrades in the game right now guys, which is going to be awesome. So without further ado, let's go in and get on into it now. But before I start anything off over here, um, if you guys are fed up with watching YouTube videos for Roblox codes, well I've got a solution for that, that's rbalexcodes.com. On the website, you can find out game codes, music codes and guides. There is tons of stuff in there that you guys have to check out. Overall, we have a code for over 1,000 Roblox games, so if you guys need a code for a game, it will be there. Anyway guys, I guess, let's just go ahead and get on into this video now. So guys, what exactly are we going to go ahead and do first of all? Well, pretty much guys, we have an upgrade bought script. This was just a temporary one which we made for for, for the food guys. Because the food's a little bit different to the other upgrades guys, I'm just going to go ahead and name this food bought right now guys. There we go. So we're going to we're going to name that food bought up there guys. Okay, next, what we are going to go ahead and do over here is pretty much this. So, um... As you can see, upgrade bought is a is a remote event over here, guys. We're just gonna quickly change this to um to food bought and bought and then guys we are gonna go ahead and change inside of the shop inside the food button right now, guys. In the buy button instead of buy well in the buy food it's gonna be instead of upgrade bought it's gonna be food bought. There we go, guys. Yeah, and uh, also sorry food bought over here in the food bought um in the food bought script, guys. So make sure you guys do that and get our new um, remote event over here guys that's just because we are going to be making a general upgrade thing which allows us to buy all the upgrades instead of um having to change it quite a bit just because the food one doesn't really matter with the other upgrades guys as it well i'll be telling you guys all about that well pretty much it's because food goes into our inventory and all sorts of stuff guys food's like temporary if you guys get what i mean but pretty much yeah guys okay so we have the food right now and um, but pretty much guys now we want to make a new upgrade over here so how do we do this well i'm gonna make the shop visible and then i'm gonna go ahead and duplicate the food one after that because um we've made a grid layout guys it's just gonna go to the side what i'm gonna go ahead and name this here is the name of my um my upgrade make sure you guys do name the frame the name of the upgrade so i'm gonna i'm gonna simply call this two times um i'm gonna call this two times over here guys because this is gonna be what gives us double cash right now it's gonna be like a cash bonus of course guys this would be named like something else in the game even though it may give you guys double cash let's say we wanted to add i don't know a mat on the floor or something like that guys or like i don't know some other random upgrade name it could still give you guys double cash, but it doesn't need to be called that. I'm just not really creative with this because, of course, it's a tutorial. So that's why I'm not naming it that, guys. But name it whatever you guys really want. But I'll be showing, showing you guys what you need to match later on. But anyway, guys, so we don't really need to change anything about the buy button just now. The description, I'm just going to go ahead and put this. Um, buy this for, for two times cash. Something like, um, something like that up there, guys. There we go. Um, and then I'm just going to change the price this time to... Let's go ahead and put this as 100. There we go, guys. And then I am going to go ahead and... Um, okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and do next here is pretty much this. So if you open up the upgrade service script, what we can do right now, guys. So last video, I did show you guys me creating upgrade 1, 2, and 3. They were just examples, guys. So we are actually going to rename these right now. So um, let me just quickly delete these these two over here because we only are going to... I'm only going to make one upgrade into this video, guys. If you want to make more, of course, that's completely fine. Then this will work, but... Um, instead of upgrade one, we are just going to simply name this two times cash, exactly the same as this, um, as the name of this frame over here, guys. So we now have an upgrade, um, in our upgrades folder, we now have an upgrade called 2x cash. Let's quickly look on into it right now. So players, um, and then upgrades, and now guys, we have a double cash upgrade over here, guys. So what we are going to go ahead and do next is pretty much this. Um, because I've accidentally, well, I've not accidentally put, because we did already save something under that upgrade one name, I'm just going to quickly just change this to a different data store right now. I'm just going to put it upgrades to, there we go, guys, and that should be um, good. So that'll be reset back down to zero. But pretty much, guys, what we are going to go ahead and do next over here is actually um, create the thing that allows us to buy this. But actually, guys, for OCD reasons, I need to quickly jump on into the toolbox and I need to go ahead and find images. I need to just find some cash over here, guys, because I cannot have food for double cash over here. Right, there we go. That one will be fine. We'll just click on that. We're going to copy this right now. I'm just going to delete that over there. Wait one second. There we go. If I can actually delete, that would be great. Come on, game. Right, apparently it's not going to let me delete that, which is awesome. All right, okay, finally. There we go, guys. And then I'm just going to update the item image with that with that cache image over there. There we go, guys. Okay. And also, I've also forgot to go in and change the, the, the item name to two times cache. 
This one, guys, it doesn't need to be the same as the upgrade because of this is just a, like a display message. But as you can see over here, we now have a new upgrade to buy. So, guys, in our double cash thing, in the buy, um, in under the buy button, so that means whenever we click on buy, this is gonna run. You have buy food. I'm just gonna rename this to buy upgrade. Um upgrade right now guys and then after that what i'm gonna go in and do over here is create a new remote event and we are now this time gonna call this one upgrade bot <laughs> over here right now guys okay there we go okay so what we want to do is upgrade the price the price is now going to be 100 this time because of course it displays 100 there let me also just make the shop invisible because we don't really need that up anymore and now guys let me just upgrade and um, change the food bot thing to upgrade bot right now there we go and then this this is all fine right now guys okay so what we are gonna go ahead and do next is pretty much this also guys um right ne never mind don't don't bother don't bother about that but pretty much what we are gonna go ahead and do over here well this is actually completely fine so what we are gonna do is actually create a new service script right now guys and this one i'm actually gonna name this upgrade board because this is actually um upgrade board because this is gonna be working with all the upgrades that you guys have in the game so for every single upgrade you guys do it's going to run off this service script over here, guys, which is quite nice. Um, so what I'm going to quickly do, because it's going to share quite a few similarities with the food bot thing, I'm just going to copy and paste this in. Um, and pretty much, guys, what we are going to go in and do over here, um, because we are pushing through the price. Um, wait, where is it, guys? Um, yeah, okay, so buy upgrade. Because it is pushing through the price over here, through this, we now know that the price is 100. But also, guys, I'm going to create the name as well. So... We're going to update this bio grid thing for, for the double cash thing. And we are going to find the name of it. So what we are going to go in and do over here is this. So we are going to do um, local name is equal to button. Then it's going to be dot parent. Um, and then dot name right now, guys. So what's it's doing over here in the right. So we've already got the button as a variable. We're finding the parent of that, which is the double cash um, frame. And that's the exact same name as the upgrade in our folder. And now that we have the name, what we are going to do next is do comma name. We're going to push the name through there, guys. And so now the upgrade bought um, event now knows what upgrade that actually binds. So we're going to put the name in there too. Okay, what we are going to do next, um, we actually just should just delete the rest of this. Okay, so now that we, we are checking if it's actually correct and if they have more cash than what the upgrade cost, we are going to go in and do this. So we are going to do player dot um, player. We'll do wait for child and then upgrades. And then we are going to do dot um, name right now, guys. So what that's um, one second. We, to be fair, guys, we can probably just do um, right. What I'm just, I'm just going to do this, guys. So we're going to do local player what am i talking about we're gonna do local upgrades is equal to player wait for child and then upgrades right now guys let's go after that we are gonna do local upgrade is equal to upgrades wait for child and then we're just gonna wait for the name because that, that's what the upgrade that we're gonna do okay next we are gonna go ahead and make it so pretty much um now um if well now, now it's gonna upgrade 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 I cannot speak today. Update the value of the upgrade. So we're gonna do upgrade. Um upgrade dot value is gonna be equal to upgrade dot value and then plus one right now, guys. So pretty much what we are doing, we are adding one to the value because you may not always want to have um an upgrade which you can buy multiple times. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that later on. But let me just quickly um play this right now, guys. I'm gonna show you this working. So right now, guys, in our um, in our upgrade folder, we have the double cash. It's on zero right now. What I'm going to quickly do is give myself some cash. Um, so where is it, guys? Um, where is my where's my lead? Here it is. Leader stats cash. We're just going to quickly put this as 500. There we go. That'll be fine. Okay. So we are going to quickly jump on into the shop over here. Open shop. We're going to buy this right now, guys. Um, right. Okay. One second. Apparently, this is not buying. Let me quickly find out what is going wrong here. Right, okay, guys. Stupid mistake by me. In the new upgrade bot thing, we forgot to actually change this from food bot to upgrade bot right now, guys. This should now work perfectly fine. Um, but yeah, guys, I haven't actually pre-made, like, the scripts on this video yet. So I'm just pre-running this right now. But yeah, guys, if you buy this right now. Right, okay, apparently that's not... Let me find out what I'm doing wrong over here. I don't know what I'm doing today. I'm absolutely being stupid today, guys. But I'm being even more stupid over here, guys. Literally, it is so hot for me right now. Whenever it's hot, my brain does not work. But pretty much over here, I've, I forgot to add the bit that allows us to... But th that takes off the cash whenever we buy it. Oh, I don't know what's going wrong with me today, guys. But pretty much, I'm going to put in 
cash dot value is equal to cash dot value minus price so now we are actually taking off the price let me update um the upgrade saver right now guys because i probably have a bunch saved on this i'm gonna name this upgrades test something like that right now guys okay so pretty much what i'm gonna go and do right now is try this out for a third time so let's go ahead and jump on another cash let's buy this there we go it's 200 right now this now should have went ahead and um up yeah now it's went up by one guys however i can still buy this it's went up to two right now maybe you want to make this so that i can only buy this once guys i'm going to show you guys how to do that right now so what we are going to go ahead and do is this inside of the buy upgrade thing um over here right now guys what we are going to go ahead and do is this so we are going to do leader stats um one second leader stats sorry guys we need to do local upgrades upgrades is equal to leader stats wait for child and then we're gonna put upgrades um in here right now guys then we are gonna do uh local um local upgrade is equal to um upgrades wait for child and then we're gonna put in the name over here guys just so you don't need to update these two lines whenever you create a new upgrades thing to be honest guys you don't really need to change anything right let's say i'm just gonna quickly go on a side run over here let's say you guys want to create a new upgrade over here we'll just simply duplicate this of course change like the display stuff and um, for example i just imagine this is like extra pet or something like that guys um, you would not have to change anything in this other than the price, guys. So don't worry about having to change anything else in this script over here, guys, if you were wondering. But yeah, guys, that's if you just want to know about how much work it's going to be to make a new upgrade over here. The, the biggest part of work is just to create the working system first. But yeah, guys, okay, anyway. So in the, um, where is it? I've, I forgot where I put it. Here it is, guys. In the bio upgrade thing, now we are waiting for, for the name of the upgrade, which is going to, of course, um, show us what the upgrade is. We are going to do, um, if upgrade um upgrade dot value is less um it what we'll say is greater than or equal to one then so what you guys are going to do here is put this as the max amount of times you want your upgrade to be bought so let's say you want only want your upgrade to be bought once then you put one over here let's say if you want your upgrade to be bought five times you'd put five over here but pretty much what we are going to do is do this we are going to do um we are going to do buy button sorry guys buy button dot um so what we're gonna pretty much do right now we are gonna disable the buy button right now so to do this we are pretty much gonna go ahead and do buy button dot visible is equal to false right now so we are gonna make this invisible um one second it's just gonna be button guys because we've already got that so don't worry about that but yeah guys button dot visible is equal to false then we are gonna do upgrade um dot changed connect function that means whenever the upgrade changes for example goes from zero to one this is gonna run i'm just gonna simply put this in again guys so yeah now this should be good over here guys if let me just quickly also um change my upgrade save over here just so it updates and i've got zero save technically but pretty much guys let's try this so pretty much now if we jump on another game brilliant flopper dies let me just quickly go in and give myself some cash right now here we go um infinite yields on wait for child upgrades have i if I spell that wrong, I might have one second, guys. Let me see what I've done here. Another stupid mistake for me. Honestly, guys, I need some aircon to actually save my brain. Instead of leader stats, it's of course player because we don't have the upgrades for the saved and the lead stats. I, I'm, I'm honestly sorry, guys, how stupid I am being today, but pretty much put the player inside there. Okay, that's fixed right now, but pretty much now it should work. And I'm hoping flopper is not going to die anytime soon because it's not going to lie. It's kind of annoying me. I actually might have to disable the flopper died script because it just makes us a bit of a hassle. But let me just quickly um, up, um, change this. So now I have some more cash right now, guys. Here we go, cash. I'm going to put 2,000, I guess. So now we have some cash over here. We're going to go into the shop. We're going to buy this. And now it's invisible. And now, guys, we have one second. Players upgrades and now we have double cash that's fully upgraded right now guys and for example you go on and on like that for different upgrades uh, of course with like the max amount you guys can buy if you guys get what i mean so yeah that's how you guys make an upgrade system but how do we actually make this upgrade work so what we are going to go ahead and do is this right now we are going to create a new script right now guys we are going to add a new script and i'm just going to go ahead and call this multiplier just over here guys and what we are going to do is this we're going to do local players is equal to game get service players then guys we are going to do this we are going to do players dot player added connect function 
and then pretty much what we're doing here is whenever the player joins the game we are gonna go ahead and do this we are gonna um first of all create a new value inside of the inside of like the player thing we're gonna do local multiplier multiplier is equal to instance.new we're gonna add a int value and we are gonna put this inside of the um well the player guys one second we need to put player inside these brackets there we go guys so we're gonna put that inside the player now guys we have a multiplier um int value added to the player we want to actually change the name of this so multiplier.name is going to be equal to multiplier there we go right now guys okay so now this is done what we are going to go ahead and do next is this right now so what you guys would do in here whenever you add is um an upgrade which maybe gives a player two times cash or 1.5 times cash guys you would add it into this over here guys um so what we'll do here is do this so we're gonna do local upgrades is equal to player wait for child upgrades then we are gonna do local two times um yeah the problem is about creating the um creating the upgrades with like the number before is pretty much because it kind of turns it into an int so i'm just gonna put double cash local double cash is equal to upgrades wait for child and i'm just gonna put two times cash over there guys okay so what we are gonna do is this we're gonna do um double cash we're actually sorry guys we're gonna do multiplier dot value is equal to multiplier dot value plus double cash right now and then um well actually guys we want to also put the multiplier dot value to equal to one as a base guys just so but because we'll also be times in this whenever the player clicks and claims some cash guys so if it's zero it will just set the amount of cash that the player gets to zero guys so yeah this should be one multiplier dot value is that plus double cash right now guys but we'll also do um double cash dot changed connect function and then inside this guys we're also gonna do this right now guys so whenever this maybe goes to from zero to one then it would update for example here if they had zero double cash when joining the game and um, that of course would add nothing to the multiplier value but if they went ahead and bought it and then of course upgrade it yeah they'll get an extra one to the multiplier value guys and you would keep on doing this for the other upgrades for example you'll do local i don't know special special um i cannot spell today pc and then is equal to upgrades you know wait for child special pc and then you do multiply dot value is equal to multiply dot value plus special tv sorry guys i also need to do dot value over here right now guys there we go um so yeah pretty much that should now be all working right now however guys we need to do the final thing and that is going to be the thing whenever we click the flopper we are going to go in and get the cash so what we are going to do is in the cash spawning thing over here um what we are going to go ahead and do right now is one second um where is it we need to make it so that um right apparently i'm blind or i cannot see over here um no is that the cash spawn thing can run is equal to two click detector new cash um right no never mind guys it's because of course it is collected inside the replicate storage in it okay collected script what we're gonna do here is this so we're gonna do local um multiplier is equal to player dot multiplier then we are gonna do cash dot value plus one but in brackets over here, guys, we're going to put brackets around the one. And we're going to times that by multiplier dot value over here right now, guys. So, in theory, when we join the game, we should get two cash every time we click the flopper right now, guys. Which is awesome. So, let's try this out. Hopefully, this is going to work, guys. I've completely freestyled this video. So, normally, we get one. But this time, yeah, guys, we got two over there, which is awesome. And that pretty much, guys, is how you can create upgrades in your flopper over here. If you guys need any help with this, as you may need to, as it's starting to get a little bit difficult, you can directly receive one-to-one -one help from me on my Patreon account. And you can also download this exact Roblox Studio file from that um, from that page as well, guys. And next video, we are going to be making like the, the roommate thing where we get cash and that, all that sort of stuff, which is quite nice and exciting. But I hope you all did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe to show some support. And peace out.